Robin Hood, bold and free, of every man is unafraid, till one day he meets his match with Marion the Maid. <laughs> On its way to the tax coffers of Prince John. Uh, we can use the money better than Prince John, eh, lad? <laughs> Did the courier see it our way, Ned? With a little persuasion. <laughs> well, Robin, did we do a good day's work? You meant no harm, Ned, but you made a mistake. Mistake? Relieving this foolish prince of taxes he'll only squander. But this treasure wasn't Prince John's until the courier handed it over in London. It belongs to the family of Sir William Fitzwalter. Fitzwalter? Why, he's at the Crusades with King Richard, isn't he? He is indeed, and as good a man as lives, and one of King Richard's most loyal soldiers. Well, how do you know all this is his? Because here on this ring is his crest. Are you certain that is his crest, Robin? I know it as well as my own. Our families were friends. They used to go hunting with his daughter when we were children. She was as good with a longbow as I was. Hard to imagine her, a young lady, wearing these jewels. If she has this much treasure, she can spare some of it for those in more need. Mm. If she were not in need herself, she wouldn't be sending her jewels to pay the tax collector. I say this goes back. But, uh, Anyone want to take issue? <laughs> it may well be our friend Robin still has a soft spot for this young huntress. <laughs> <laughs> I had to add my own jewels to pay the high taxes that your Prince John has burdened us with, or forfeit my lands. And now the outlaws have taken them in the main highway and in broad daylight. Where were your soldiers, my Lord Sheriff, at the time? If I had ten times as many men, I couldn't patrol all the highways against these bandits. They never strike twice in the same place. Why wait for them to strike? Why not strike first? You have superior numbers. As if numbers counted in that forest of theirs. But they've turned every tree into a bowman, and every hedge into an ambush. What's the matter, my Lord Sheriff? Are you afraid of these outlaws? We are biding our time until Robin Hood makes a mistake. Once we can lay our hands on him, dealing with the others will be easy. I used to know Robin when we were children. I could shoot as straight an arrow as he could. Would it help if you knew where his camp is? Then you could capture him? If we knew that, we could bring a large force down on him at night and clean out the whole nest. You shall have this information, my lord. Marion, what's going on in that pretty head of yours? You'll hear soon enough. If you have any foolhardy notion of venturing into that forest, I want you to know that I forbid it. By your own admission, Sherwood Forest is outside your control. ladies and cackling hens are sure to come to disastrous end. Nanny. Well, isn't that what your dear mother used to warn you? Hardly a good omen for my plans. Are these your brother Albert's clothes you've got out again? But he'll have outgrown them when he returns from the Crusades. Oh, my lady, I beg of you. You're too old to go climbing trees and playing the hoyden. Remember what your father said when he first saw you in trousers and wrestling. Didn't I promise him before he left? I know. I sit quietly embroidering while all we hold dear is lost. If we are to lose the manor, then it is in God's hands. It's not a woman's place to interfere. But I'm not interfering as a woman. Now listen to me quietly, Nanny. The sheriff is to be informed that I'm riding for Sherwood Forest, and he's to send a force of soldiers out to meet me at sunup. Do you understand, Nanny? It must be at Raiders Hollow. Robin is going to rule this business. <laughs>
I tell from the way you looked that you could shoot? And how could I tell from the noise you made you were a man? Oh, so arrows aren't your only barbs, I see. Well, there's no need to stand there like a maiden defending her honor. Here. I just don't like to be tricked. Nor do I. What's your name, lad? Peter Watts. There's no meat in our house and I came hunting. Without a bag for the game? Well, what of it anyway? Would you like to join me? Uh, I was just about to eat when you came crashing along. I can track as silently as anyone. You were as touchy as a young mare with a thorn under her saddle. Come on, sit down. Now then, if your name's Peter Watts, mine's Will Meadows. I'm glad to have your company. Eating by yourself is a dull affair. But tell me, aren't you afraid to go hunting alone in Sherwood Forest? The outlaws? I can shoot as well as any of them. Just let them try and rob me. Not that I have any money. No, but um, going around hooded on a hot day like this, well, they might think you had something to hide. Go on, take it off. Never take it off. It's really to make me look older. Do you think it does? Oh, yes, it, it really ages you. But tell me about the outlaws. Have you ever seen Robin Hood? Oh, yes, um, frequently. Really? Well, what's he like? Well, he's, um, he's rather a pleasant fellow, but with a devilish quick temper. He's very touchy about having his lands taken away from him and his friends badly treated by the sheriff and Prince John's favorites. Oh, I could tell you a lot more about him, but I doubt if you're really that interested. Oh, but I am interested. I wish I could meet him. I'll take you to see him, if you like. If you came as a friend, he'd welcome you. It would be foolish to seek his camp as an enemy. You seem to be walking in circles. Oh, yes. Well, Robin Hood wouldn't like me to bring a stranger into camp without first making certain that the visitor couldn't retrace his steps. Then we're close to his camp? Which one's Robin Hood? You... You're Robin Hood. Welcome to our camp. I thought you weren't telling me the truth. Strange. I had the same feeling about you. I didn't come into the forest to hunt. Not animals, at least. You mean you were looking for us? I didn't want to tell you everything because I didn't know who you were. I'm a page of Prince John's Palace. Court life bored me and I wanted adventure. All I'd heard about Robin Hood made me want to find him and join his band. If they'd have me. The man will have to have a say in that as well. Well, lads, what's the vote? Do we take Peter into our band or no? Looks a bit puny to my way of thinking. Ah, he's got ankles like a woman. <laughs> Don't be too hard on the lad. Those legs have only walked on velvet rugs. <laughs> How do we know he really was a page? Like he says. Yeah, that's right. He's got a truthful face, Edgar. You can see that. I can tell you exactly how the court looks. Every single room. It's an awfully squeaky voice for an outlaw. Oh, come, Ned. The lad's young. His voice is changing. Give it time to settle down. But there's no muscle on his arm. Couldn't even draw a bow. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, lad, if you can draw a bow the way you can wrestle, you'll have my vote. Set up a mark and we shoot against each other. Fair enough. And to my liking. Yonder is the Sheriff of Nottingham, where he truly belongs, hanging from a tree. What say you, Peter, we try to puncture his tough hide with an arrow? Very good, Ned. Ah, let's see you do better. The sheriff has hung there long enough. Give me leave to cut him down. By the saints, this I must see. 
Peter, you deserve to be one of us. What say you, lads? I'm right. for him. What say we take him down to the stream? Yes, the swim will cool you off. Oh, no, please, I, I don't swim. Oh, come on, there's nothing to it. Yes, you just take off your clothes and jump in. No, both my parents were drowned. Oh, we'll look out, you. Please. All right, all right, we've had our sport. Now we have work to do. It's our custom to let the latest recruit prepare our evening meal. And I should warn you, these are the hungriest outlaws in all England. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the outdoor life. This morning, when you found out who I was, you weren't really surprised, though you pretended to be. You'd already guessed I was Robin, hadn't you? Yes. You sure there's nothing else you'd like to tell me, lad? About what? About you. I'm very tired. Perhaps in the morning. Sleep well. Friedrich, I'm posting an extra guard tonight. Will you take the first watch? Hi, Robin. Am I to go up with the lookout and see nobody slips in? No. You're to see nobody slips out. Hmm? Oh, but he seems like a good lad. Mm -hmm. Even a good lad can get into mischief. Help, lad, your watch. Come on, Ned. Stir yourself. Your watch. Come on, lad. Shake your brains. How did little Silver Spoon get on with no feather mattress? <laughs> Not a move. Should think he'd have turned like a spindle, cute little <laughs> tyke. Come on. Break up. Cedric. Robin! Robin, wake up! It's Peter! He's gone! John, well, I thought I told you. I swear, I, I don't know how he did it, Robin. He, I must have been too trusty. I... Never mind, Cedric. It's my fault for taking chances with somebody I suspected. Uh, I found a blast on his horn if I need help. Stay here. Uh, alert the men.
haven't changed, Marion. I can hardly say the same for you. When did you first find out who I was? I guessed almost at once. But I had to find out what you were up to, though I almost left it too late. Oh! Oh! Now what is the gallant Robin Hood going to do? Rob me again? I'll save you the trouble. I hoped you'd understand us better by now. After visiting our camp and meeting my men, if your father in England, he'd be with us heart and hand. How do you expect by making me your cook and dishwasher would change my mind about a den of thieves? That was for trying to trick me. I'm sorry I hurt you. But I couldn't have you leading the sheriff's man back to our camp, could I? You rob me of almost all I have and you still expect me to regard you as a friend? I returned your money to your home yesterday morning. When you were still in the forest, I was on my way back to camp when we met. Now, stand up and see how the ankle is. It is the same girl, the way I remember you all these years. Even the boy's clothes you like to wear. I've thought of you often, Robin. They say such things about you. What am I to believe? What your heart tells you. Surround him! The name of the sheriff. My lady, the jewels and the money. You haven't been gone an hour when it came hurtling through the window and fell at my very feet. Not a soul in sight. Oh, Nanny, there are more coins here than I had. Enough to pay Prince John. Well, I vow. Some people do say that Robin Hood is more saint than outlaw. Now you can keep your mother's jewels, bless her. What's this? Forgive us and the affectionate regards of an old friend. Well, you don't seem overjoyed, I must say. You got what you went after, didn't you? Nanny, fetch my rough address. I'm off to Nottingham. Yes. Prince John has declared a public holiday for the hanging. And he has dispatched a hundred men-at-arms to escort the prisoner to London. A feather in your cap, if I may say so, my lord. You may indeed. But we must not forget the Lady Marion's part in his capture. I still marvel that he walked into your trap. You must have planned it very carefully. Yes. Yes, we worked it all out thoroughly before she went into the forest. Lady Marion Fitzwalter, my lord. Ah, show her in. Marion, my dear, we were just singing your praises. My compliments, Lady Marion. Delivering Robin Hood into our hands was no small feat. Thank you. Be seated. I'm writing to the Prince to ask him that you should have the seat of honor at the hanging and one half of the reward. Does that meet with your approval? One thing more I crave, my lord. You shall have whatever you name. The return of my jewels. I beg permission to visit the prisoner in his cell and find out where he's hidden them. Before the hanging. Your request is granted. But supposing, as is most likely, he refuses to tell you. What then? I thought perhaps you might have means of persuading him. That would be a pleasure. Sergeant. My lord. You will escort the Lady Marion to the prisoner's cell and do as she requests. But any torture it may seem necessary to inflict must stop short of the prisoner's death. I have Prince John's command to hand him over alive. Yes, my lord.
grant me one favor before you die? A favor for you? I'm hardly in a position to grant anyone a favor. Where are my jewels that you've stolen from me? I already told you, I took them back to your home. Go there and see for yourself. I've just come from my home, and no one's seen either you or the jewels. Have it your own way, but go and leave me alone. Sergeant, bring me two of your strongest men, and the instruments to make him talk. Yes, my lady. The years have given you a taste for strange pleasures. Marion. Quickly, Robin, tie me up and bind me. But what about you? I can't All keep... right, they'll never suspect me. Where is he? He broke free and escaped. Don't stand there, Tom. 